Who am I? The Capricorn. Secrets of the Zodiac. Written by your favorite Capricorn, Gypsy Rose Deville. I must give reverence to the stars that always seem to align in my favor, proven through the many occasions I should not have lived to tell the story. My connection from the beginning has always been significant and I am forever grateful for their divine intervention and protection. I'll always appreciate the blessing of my children, who single-handedly saved me with their very existence. My parents, being the ones responsible for creating this monster. And my brothers, who all mean the world to me. Also, to anyone or any struggle ever playing a role in the story of my life, good, bad, big, or small. And a special shout out to all of my special friends, that I've been blessed to meet along these journeys, who will always be family to me. You know who you are. Last, but not least, to the forces of the universe working in my favor, ensuring my divine purpose comes to fruition. Special dedication to, my friend, my sister, my inspiration and my earth angel. You will be forever loved and missed. Prelude Finally, at long last, life's allowing me to experience the full pleasure of its intense teasing tantric foreplay, leading me all the way to its enthusiastic heights of explosive orgasm. Only after having suffered a lifetime of its viciously brutal sodomy, without ever even giving me the courtesy of using lube. Yeah, I know that may sound a bit extreme and graphic, but so has been my journey. I'm not sure if you can relate, so if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Have you ever felt like you're just some kind of haphazard result of a horrible cosmic mistake? Does it seem like life deemed you its personal punching bag? Or like you can never get a five-minute break to catch your breath from its attacks? Are you constantly feeling judged, unable to just be you? Do you find yourself trying to hide tears, pain, anger, or grief, behind either a smile or a smokescreen of strength? How often do you even stop to think about your life? Not just the immediate present-day situation you are living, but your life in its entirety. Do you feel that you are the person you were meant to be on this earth, fulfilling your purpose? Are your days productive, or rather being overpowered by just one drama after another? Are you even happy? Lying in my bed one morning, I found myself waking up with the answers to all these questions, and more, mentally plaguing me like a virus driving me insane. Spiraling me into an irate disillusioned state of. What the fuck? Realizing how miserable I was, because my world was resembling nothing that I'd imagined it to be as a child. At this point, having strayed so far from anything I'd ever dreamed of accomplishing. In fact, those dreams were now fantasies. How did this happen? How did I get here? Hating my job, empty bank accounts, drowning in debt, a toxic war zone of a marriage, my health suffering, while feeling more insecure and depressed than ever in life. Angry with God because, for the life of me, I've never been able to understand his obsession with long suffering. Looking in the mirror, I couldn't even recognize myself anymore. And reflecting on the last few years of my life, was bringing forth the obvious. I was now one of those people, I'd once judged so ruthlessly. Remembering times, of being utterly mystified in my condemning thoughts of. What kind of person? Finally reaching this official level of, sick and tired of being sick and tired, ignited a spark within me, in which I cannot explain. Unable to continue accepting my life as it was, knowing that something had to change, but no clue where to start. I began thinking about what I really wanted in general for my life. Which then led to reminiscing about dreams and aspirations I'd once fantasized about when I was young, as well as the type of person I was back then. However, in my four decades on this earth, I've gone through many different transformations. Some for better, some for worse, but all playing a part of what makes me who I am today. I was beginning to feel this overwhelming sense of urgency, to self-reflect on these variations of me. If for no other reason, than rediscovering the core of who I am. Please approach this manuscript with an open mind, since this is not your typical autobio, nor like any other history or self-help novel you've ever read before. This is not a call to challenge the experts or elites of the world either. 
So, I could honestly care less about those who might jump at the chance to debunk any of the theories I may share with you. This is my truth and the lessons I've learned in this journey called my life, in which you will find the following. My own personal self-reflective evaluation, bringing forth healing mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. My independent spiritual journey, researching religion, spiritual doctrines, as well as ancient history. As well as details regarding my zodiac sign, the Capricorn, to better understand its importance in my life. I am not here to convince you of anything. In fact, my only agenda is to make you think, to the point of wanting to do more research for yourself. Before I share my own however, I invite you to get to know me during these first few chapters. And understand that, if I was to break down my entire life history, I would have to start an Encyclopedia Britannica series. So I am simply going to give you a quick briefing of my life, while sharing some of what I have experienced, in hopes of giving you a deeper insight as to how I think and why. Then, further into this manuscript, you will also witness just how deep I fell down this rabbit hole of ancient knowledge and wisdom, making me question everything about my current reality. I never could have imagined the mental and spiritual elevation I would experience from asking one simple question. Who, am, I? Given a chance, I bet you will find that you may be a bit like me, and then I'll walk you down my insane path of unveiling the secrets of the zodiac.